Joe, welcome to Questioning the Manager. So, dividend cover is widely reported as being a little bit thin. Some companies are even cutting their dividend. Is City having to use its revenue reserve? Well, it's very early in our financial year and I wouldn't be allowed to say whether we are or not. But I'd say there's certainly been areas of weakness for dividends in the UK market, particularly uh, the mining sector, where there have been several dividend cuts and food retailers earlier in the year. But there have also been some positive areas, um, such as house builders, and where we have um, have three of the house builders, and they've all produced highly attractive dividends. So it's not all bad news by any means. How are you geared at the moment? Because some investors will view this as a sign of confidence going forward. Well, we've actually raised the gearing over the summer. We, the end of June, which is our end of our financial year, we were 6%, which is relatively low gearing. And we've moved it up to 10%, taking advantage of some of the weakness in markets. And yes, we do feel that with the setback in the market, this is an opportunity. We have a, quite a conservative portfolio, so it lends itself to a bit of gearing in anticipation of rising markets. Is the weakness in the oil price having much effect on companies in the portfolio? Well, it has. it's a very interesting question. Yes, it has an effect. I mean, obviously, for oil companies, it's not great news. I, we hold BP and Shell, and, we, and they're the only two oil companies we hold, and we think those two companies have got strong enough balance sheets and ability to cut costs so they can weather the storm, and they're not bad companies to be with for the long run. Uh, but we are underexposed compared to market averages in the oil sector. But elsewhere, for the consumer, it's good news. Each time you fill up your car, you're spending less on petrol. So those type of companies like pub groups, like Green King, which we hold in the portfolio, which are exposed to consumer spending, they should see the benefit over time. OK, finally, Joe, but how is City positioned in terms of sector bias? Well, it's a relatively diversified portfolio, but... We have two biases I should perhaps mention. One is to property-related stocks, both the house builders and also real estate investment trusts, which are property companies that invest in prime property. We have about 10% of the portfolio in that particular area. And then another area we quite like at the moment is insurance, particularly the life assurance sector. And a combination of the life assurance and non-life assurance is about 10% of the portfolio. So it's kind of well diversified across the piece. We have some of our long-term favourites and consumer staples, some of the global companies in that area and also I think the bank sector is getting more interesting and we have decent holdings in HSBC and we've brought back into Lloyd's this year as well. Joe Curtis, thank you.